So before I create this new project, uh, I would just um, make a very short, uh, very small adjustment to this uh, diagram. I have a preference of naming all of my interfaces with a capital I in front, so that you know it doesn't interfere with uh, my understanding of anything else in the application. Right. So if we, if other classes have names such as floor and elevator. Um, the uh, the interfaces I prefer to name with capital I in front of uh, the rest of their name. Okay, so with this in mind, uh, let's create new project and basically write some code for this uh, visitor design pattern. So we're going to say visitors, right? Uh, visitors for this for this uh, type of thing. And we'll create the main class, main app, I guess. Uh, finish that. Um, so since I already have this um, this uh, sort of like outline for this plan, without hesitation, I will jump to my project and add a new. Uh, uh, new um, interface. We'll we can start with interface. It says interface visitor, right? Uh, actually, interface element. Let's do the element first. Okay, element. Um, and in the element, uh, we're going to have our uh, uh, public uh, vo uh, void to begin with. Accept, right? Um, we can have it return other types of parameters, uh, but right now just we're just going to say accept, and what it will be accepting is um, I visitor, right? So remember, elements are floors and elevators, right? So it will be accepting uh, a visitor over here, okay? And uh, and that's uh, this is actually uh, an interface, so there's no implementation, right? So here, so very simple interface I element, uh, save everything. Uh, next, uh, add another uh, interface uh, named uh, uh, I visitor. Okay, I visitor, and finish uh, that. Okay, and uh, over here, uh, the interface here is again. I just use void return types. We say visit uh, visit uh, floor, right? Visit floor, and likewise, the visitor can visit the elevator. Okay. Elevator. Elevator. Okay. Uh, so then um, uh, we're going to um, save everything once again, and this time create the the, the two uh, classes, which are floors and elevators. So we're gonna add classes. Um, new class floor, right? Uh, so the floor, of course. Uh, let me just move it to the to the parallel panel over here. Um, the floor, of course, is an element. So we say floor implements. Uh, Implements um, the I element, I element, and we're gonna then say uh, override the usual practice, right? Override uh, and to say that it overrides public void accept accept I visitor. And so the idea by accepting the visitor is simply instead of handling uh, some sort of like, you know, 
specific uh, floor specific activity uh, based on different types of visitors. Instead, simply say visitor, visitor, visit, uh, visit this floor, right? And uh, by visiting this floor, and here's the I visitor, right? So the the, the visitor is capable of, our, our type of visitor, is capable of visiting floors and elevators, right? So we say this over here, we're passing an instance of the floor. So obviously this method will be invoked. If we, if we create another class, so let me just preserve some space over here. If we create another class named the elevator in the building, right? so we can create another class named the elevator, right? So likewise, over here, we're going to do, oops, uh, sorry, I, I created it uh, in the default package. Uh, so I'm just going to, uh, I hope I can drag and drop it over here. Uh, refactor. OK, great. So uh, just by mistake, click the wrong, uh, click on the wrong package to add the class. Right, so we have a class elevator, which also implements the i element, and uh, by saying element, I presume I presume that it's a it's an element of a, of a building, right? So which can be um, elevator or or a floor, right? So um, so once again, very similar to um, very similar to the floor, the elevator has to override this method. Right, which says uh, accept, right? Override uh, accept and say uh, accept the visitor. And this time, when we say visit this, it, the this reference now refers to an instance of an elevator. Therefore, this other visit method will be invoked. Right. So this is uh, uh, this is a, a very simple. Very, you know, absolutely minimal uh, minimum amount of of code required to um, uh, provide access uh, by visitors to these two different types, right? So it's not it's not very demanding. Just basically copy and paste type of thing. Uh, say uh, 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 implements this interface and then do this override, right? So so the actual override is exactly the same in both uh, in both classes. So it's it's it has very little demand on your part to uh, uh, to make it work, right? So now just to make it interesting, more interesting, we can now say that. Um, uh, let's uh, let's add another class, right? And we're gonna have to uh, create some concrete uh, concrete visitors, right? So, like we said in our design, we can have an employee, a guest, and maintenance worker uh, or security, right? So we can say employee and guest for for the sake of demonstration, right? So visitor <coughs> employee. Right, we can we can create that type of visitor, and let me immediately create the second one, a visitor, a visitor, <coughs> a guest, right, guest, something like that. All right, so now we have uh, uh, both uh, uh, both of these concrete types of visitors. Right, so visitor guest, a guest, of course, implements the visitor interface. Right, implements, implements the uh, I visitor uh, interface, and so likewise, let me do it uniformly. The employee visitor, uh, likewise, uh, implements the visitor interface. Right, and so both. Um, uh, both uh, implement this interface for iVisitor, and so they just need to be able to provide these two two methods, right? The two methods are the uh, the method uh, overrides 
uh, so they have to be uh, they have to be uh, handled by both. So uh, now you can see the divisor can vi uh, may be invoked to say, okay, you're you're about to visit this floor, right? Or you're about to visit the elevator, right? So so we can write our own implementation for these two methods inside the uh, guest visitor and likewise and by the way we're going to say public of course right we're going to make it public and we're going to say override which should be a, a you know a common uh, practice uh, for us when we're implementing the interfaces all right so this is our two methods that uh, the guest visitor uh, that the guest visitor um, uh, can uh, can can now implement, and this is uh, this looks very promising, right? Because we can now focus on the activities for guest for specific, you know, for for floors, and it can interrogate the floor for anything that it wants and and make its own decisions and therefore fulfill uh, some sort of agenda um, you know that the visitor can have and so similarly right similarly we can copy and paste this exact implementation for i visitor inside the visitor employee right so over here we can focus on uh, what visitor employee can do when visiting the floor so how about this um, we can we can basically to to be able to visualize it and, and be able to to debug it we need to maybe add some uh, printout statements like system dot out dot print print line right as always just uh, just for the testing right so we can say visitor visitor um, Plus uh, its own hash code, right? Hash code uh, plus. Uh, let me actually resize this a little bit so that we can see what what we're typing. Um, uh, plus. Um, uh, floor, we can say visiting, visiting, uh, visiting uh, floor, and we can ask the floor what's your hash code is, right? Uh, and so this way we can just basically vis visualize this type of activity, right? so something like this.